So let's see how you would want to use the homology-based um, gene prediction approach using BLAST. And we're going to do that in the short way. So the short way is to say, I'm going to narrow down my database searched to only things that I know will be genes. So for example, actually this one, I'm going to skip this one because um, this one is a gene, uh, but I it, this whole thing is a gene. And I want to show you a sequence where there's genomic, um, so there will be some sequence that are genes and some other sequence that are not genes. And I want to show you the shortcut is, we're just going to copy this number because BLAST accepts the GI number, that's the gene identifier number. We, the long way would be you click on that, copy the sequence, like you would copy this whole thing. The short way is, oh, I have the GI number, I can just put that there. So uh, I'm going to see, are there nucleotide sequences? So that, that's my BLAST10 that match my nucleotide sequence that I'm entering. But what I want, I want the nucleotide sequences that match my nucleotide sequence to be genes. So the way I narrow it down, it's here. I use a reference sequence. So I'm going to use this one. Um, either one would work, but I'm going to use this one just because I'm like, I'm not just selecting some. I want anything that is an RNA sequence. So this would be the fastest way we run it. All the other options that are, I just wanted to show you what you would do if you end up working with this. But for exam, the way I will write the question, this is the one thing you run. So this is going to be running there. Um, for the exam, it will be whatever is fastest. And, and this, is, this is it. So uh, we get a lot of predicted, which means we don't know that there, that these molecules would have been um, isolated in the lab, like they, they haven't been isolated. The prediction comes from computational work. So not that the computational work is not important, it's really important. It shortcuts them how much work you do in the lab but we, we, what I want is to see what has been isolated in the lab. So when it doesn't say predicted, this is saying that there was some mRNA that is the transcription of the DNA in this locus here. So the locus is like, it's the location within a chromosome and it's numbered. You're going to learn that in the future too and cit some cytogenetic exercises we're gonna do. Okay, so right now I'm just ignoring all the predicted because I want something that for which there, there's, there are hard data, as in the mRNA got sequenced in the lab. And I'm just going to do the first hundred, which is what this um, page shows. Okay, so if I want to, to see where are where do these mRNAs match my genomic sequence? I'm going here on graphic summary. And so here's my genomic sequence or that sequence I entered that I didn't know, are there genes or not? And then wherever there are this, the red boxes that correspond to that area, that's where the genes are. So there would be one gene predicted here and there are two versions for that gene. We're going to learn about um, alternative splicing also. So there is one gene here, one gene here, like this whole thing is a second gene. And you're like, whoa, but what's this thing? This is either a really big intron because this is one mRNA molecule that matched this, this part of the sequence, but the part that matched was only here and here, and this middle part didn't match. And it could be because the genomic, so the DNA sequence here does not show up on the mRNA. So it doesn't show up at all. Therefore, it's an intron in here. 
or it could be that this sequence here doesn't match that part of the mRNA. There are ways of finding that out, but we're not going to go into that much depth. So uh, one gene here, a second gene here, uh, a, a third gene over here comes from that, a fourth gene here with a bunch of parts that either don't align or they are uh, introns. So another gene here and one here. And again, the way you are going to count this is how many columns basically are matching the mRNA to the genomic sequence. And if you have different roles, there would be um, more mRNA molecules that match that same spot. But in that spot, that's one gene, and this would be different alleles. 